Welcome people, in this video I'll be showing you how to replace the Q button and play button in a CDJ 1000 MK1, 2 and 3 and most CDJs by Pioneer you will need a flip screwdriver and a soldering iron one of these babies to suck up the solder and some solder first thing you want to do is Put something underneath the deck, turn it round. We have to remove one, two, three, four, five screws. There's also another screw here you need to remove. Turn it back round. Open to the right side, like that. And as you can see, here there is a clip. Lift up like that. Slowly remove the flex cable. There you go. Take this, put it to somewhere else. You have to disconnect this flex cable here. So as you can see, a lot of people usually change the whole board, but we will be changing this button here and this button here. I did not find round buttons. I got squared ones, I think off eBay. Still does the job. Just need two of them. What I would recommend doing is adding solder onto the joints. waiting for the soldering iron to heat up. The reason I'm adding solder to the solder joint is so it's easy to come off and with this we'll be sucking off the solder. As you can see now this will easily come off. And if you can see from the video, place a new button, fold it hard down so it sticks correctly, and then add the solder again. Now we will replace when finishing <clears throat> get a pair of cutters and cut the ends to bend them a little bit. Add a little bit of solder so it's easier to desolder it. As you can see, easy. Fresh clean joints. Button. As when you fold it, push the button in and fold them down. So it's nice and tight. Now as you can see we've finished. Hold down the metal. 
pull it up and then cut the same for the other. If you like, just test the buttons if they work before you mount it back together. You would need a multimeter connected to the buzzer. Press the two joints behind and push the button. That one's working. Perfect. Okay. As you can see, it starts. 